This is Jennifer Mason. I am a SharePoint Server MVP and this is one of the videos in our series about managing permissions um, inside of SharePoint Online and Office 365. In this session, we are going to talk about the three common pages that are used to manage your um, permissions inside of SharePoint on Office 365. So first up, under Site Settings, there's a section called Users and Permissions, and there's three links there, one for people and groups, one for site permissions, and one to set the site collection administrators. Um, we're going to talk through quickly what you can do in each of those sites, and then I am going to show you a demo of some of the things you can do with the sites. Okay, the first one is the People and Groups page. From this, you're really going to just be able to navigate into the different groups, and then you're going to see the permissions um, that that group has and you can see what people are members of that group. So when you first click on that page it's going to show you items in the quick launch um, but you can customize that to show different groups in the quick launch. So um, by default it's going to show a couple and then you can hit more and then see all of them or you can go in and um, go where it says settings and edit the group quick launch and you can change it to show only specific groups by default on that quick launch. The next page is just the permissions page. And from here, you really have a lot of options in the ribbon to customize the site permissions. Um, this is probably the most common page used to manage permissions. So you're going to go in here, you're going to be able to do different things, including creating new groups, um, granting permissions to people, checking permissions of a user group. So that's a really great tool that will let you enter in a group or a user and you can see what permissions they have on that site. Um, and you'll also be able to quickly identify if anything has secure content, create new permission levels. So this is really the hub of managing permissions. And um, from the ribbon on this page, you can do all of these different things to, to manage your permissions and get your site set up. And then finally, we have a page that manages our site collection administrators. And so from here, you can give users full control of the site. Um, so what we're going to do now is we're going to do a quick demo, and I'm going to show you all of these different pieces and how you can access them um, to manage permissions for your SharePoint online site. We're going to start out on one of our standard SharePoint sites. Um, here I have an example of the Visio Services site. It's just a site that we're using to give people an introduction to Visio Services, and I want to manage permissions on this site. So I'm going to click on Site Actions, and I'm going to come down and click on Site Settings. From here, I'm going to see a group called um, Users and Permissions, and it's a group of links that I can click on to manage permissions. Once I click on People and Groups, I'm going to be taken to a page that shows me all of the different groups on the site, and then as I select one of the groups, it will show me all of the different members. By default, it's going to display um, the first couple of groups on the quick launch, and I can hit More, and then it's going to display all of the groups on the site for me. I can also come over here and edit the group quick launch, and if I click on this, it's going to allow me to say what groups and in what order they're displayed on the quick launch. So if there's certain groups that I'm going to be accessing all of the time to add users, or if I just want to clean that up and show just a couple of the groups, I can change that from here. So those are the basic settings that I can change under this People and Groups page. The next one we want to look at, we're going to go back to Site Settings, and the next page we want to look at is the Site Permissions page. Now, this site is really the hub of everything I can do to manage permissions for this site. So when I come in here, I'm going to see across the ribbon that I have options to grant permissions. So if I was to click on this, I could um, select a user group and I could give them permissions to the site. I could also create a new group. So I can click on this and I'm going to see all of the options to create a new SharePoint group. So in um, additional videos and demos, we're going to go through the basics of doing these specific things. So on this one, I really just kind of want to give you the, the basics that you can do on this page so you understand um, where to find this information. Some of the options here are grayed out because I do not have a group or user selected yet. As soon as I select one of these, you see that the items are now lit up and I can click on them and I can edit user permissions or I can do the opposite and I can come over here and I can remove user permissions. So if I want to remove them, I can click that and I'm not going to for the demo, but if I wanted to, I could say okay. okay. The other option I have is to check permissions. This is a great tool that's available, so I can click on this, and let's say that I have a user and I don't necessarily know what permissions they have to the site. So I can come over here, and I'm going to do a search on Jennifer. I'm going to pick my people picker, so it puts it there, and I'm going to say check now. And I'm going to see that I have been given full control, given directly to myself. I could also come over here, and if I knew the name of a group, so I knew that I had members, Okay, 
it's not going to come up just by typing member, but I can click on it, and then I can come down here and, and pick the group that I wanted. So I could say, okay, introduction to Visio Services members, and I can check now, and I can see that they have been given contribute rights to the site. So this is a great way to go in and check and see who has access to my site. So if I know that I have a user, but I'm not really sure what permissions they have to the site, I can very easily come in here, enter their name, hit check now, and it's going to show me where they have permissions on the site. I can also manage different pieces here. So I can manage the different permission levels and managing access requests. This is if someone comes to the site and they don't have access and they say, well, I want to send off an email so that I can um, ask for access to the site. If I turn that on, I can click on that and I can say, okay, are we going to allow that to happen? And if we do allow that to happen, what email address do we want those requests to go to? So that's another setting that can be very valuable at times because I may want users to be able to request access to a site. And if I do, where do I want those requests to go so that they can get managed appropriately? And then again, I can click here and see Site Collection Administrator. So if I click on this page, one thing I want you to see is that it's going to come up and just let me enter in the Site Collection Administrators. This is also the same page that we can access when we hit our third link. So if I go back to Site Settings and I click on the third link that says Site Collection Administrators, I can click on that and I'm going to be taken to the same information that I saw from that previous page. So just in review here, if we go under Site Settings, we have the People and Groups page, which is going to let me open up and see all of the different people and what groups they're associated with. And I can customize that so only groups that I want are displayed on the Quick Launch to make it easy to navigate through. I can go to the Site Permissions page, which is the central hub for managing, um, managing the different users and putting people in groups and granting access, um, changing those basic configuration settings. And then I can also go to the Site Collection Administrator page just to set my site collection administrator. So one thing that you probably noticed through this demo is I can get to any three of those locations from the other locations. So under site permissions I can really get in, I can see who are members of groups and I can also get site collection administrators. So these links are really just shortcuts to help you get to the right locations but like I said you can come into the site permissions page and do most of the things that you need to do to manage permissions at this level. So that wraps up the demo that we were going to show you on just the three simple pages that you can use to manage your permissions and your access for SharePoint Online. So I hope you have found this video helpful. If you have additional questions for me or um, any questions on anything you saw in the demo, please feel free to reach out to me via my blog or on Twitter, and I hope to talk to you soon.